So today we are doing a 30 by 40 wedding. This is a backup wedding for someone whose wedding was canceled. And so they're having something smaller. It's just a small dance floor, a small sweetheart table, six round tables, 48 chairs, and the 30 by 40 tent. Now this dance floor sections are four by four and we put the male edges facing out. There's on dance floor pieces, there's two male edges and two female edges. If you put the male edges facing out, it's easy to get the male edge into the female edge on all the other ones. Uh, this dance floor is 12 by 16. It's a little wider than the center poles. The center poles are actually 10 feet apart. So we angled them for now and we'll put them back on the dance floor at the end to make them straight. Usually only two people handle this, but we have three people and it's the end of the job. Usually someone else will be doing lights and two people will be doing the dance floor. As you see, we just put it down, slide it in, use the tool to lock it. Another good tool to have is a rubber mallet to help bang it into place. But we only had 12 pieces and this dance floor goes together fairly easily. So we didn't even grab the rubber mallet, didn't go back up the hill to grab it. At the end, we put some water on it with some soap or purple power in the water, mop the whole thing and then squeegee it off. It is much easier to clean it on site. That way the customer can see that it is clean. It's a lot harder at the warehouse to clean each one individually. So this way you just set it up like it's now just a normal floor and you're just mopping it. And then we take the squeegee at the end and squeegee everything off and the floor looks great and beautiful. And that's the dance floor. All clean. Hi, Foos. Say hi.